This episode of The Young Turks is brought to you by Thrillist. Gotta love George Allen. He is uh, back running for Senate in uh, Virginia. He's running against uh, Tim Kaine, uh, the Democrat who was the former governor. They're both former governors of uh, Virginia. Uh, so uh, uh, George Allen, uh, w of course, his campaign against uh, Jim Webb, who sadly is not seeking re-election, was derailed in 2006 when he called a campaign worker for Jim Webb, uh, Makaka, and then uh, denied it. Um, and it was a series. It was a. It was the the reason why it stuck, and it's a pejorative name. The reason why it stuck is because George Allen had this long, rich history of being a racist. And most recently, it has now come back into the news, which gives us a wonderful opportunity to point out just how big a racist George Allen is. He had a fascinating exchange with a television news reporter from Washington, D.C. at the NBC affiliate, I believe, that's Channel 4, which was my first television job. I was an intern there uh, for the late George Michael, George Michael Sports Machine. Uh, and I'm sorry that George Michael has passed away, but he's one of the worst people I ever worked for in television. Um, my first day on the job as a sports intern, uh, George Michael threatened all the interns with never working in television again. Welcome to the world of TV. Anyway, so this guy, uh, I, I, what's his name, JR, the, uh, the, the sports guy I worked for? I mean, the, the, the reporter? It's Craig Melvin. Okay, so Craig Melvin. So anyway, so he has this exchange. Uh, let's put up the, there's Craig Melvin. So uh, let's put up the uh, tweets here that, uh, of the exchange between uh, George Allen and Craig Melvin. So uh, for the second time in five months, this is a tweet from Craig Melvin. For the second time in five months, former governor and Senate candidate George Allen asks me, what position did you play? And then he writes, I did not play a sport. As you saw there, Craig Melvin is black and apparently well-built in good shape. Um, yeah, he says he's a tall guy. He's no tall. Way. He's tall, muscular, very handsome black man. Uh, and then, uh, so then there he goes there. He's a good looking fella. He looks like he should be on television. So then George, uh, second time in five months. So then George Allen uh, responds with this. Uh, Sorry if I offend and ask people a lot if they played sports, grew up in football family, found sports banter a good way uh, to connect. Okay, so uh, you know what? I'm sure he did find sports a good way to connect. His father, of course, the uh, the uh, legendary football coach of the Rams and Redskins, and George uh, Allen grew up uh, in Washington after, uh, well, he didn't. He grew up in Southern California, and that's significant. He grew up in Palos Verdes, California. Then he went to the University of Virginia when George Allen became the head football coach of the Redskins. Prior to that, George Allen was the head football coach of the Rams, then briefly went back to the Rams. George, uh, George Allen Jr., uh, the Senate candidate, his brother, Bruce Allen, uh, was former general manager of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, now the general manager of the my least favorite football team in the history of sports, the Washington Redskins. So, but here's the thing about George Allen Jr., who twice has asked a black guy if he played sports, because all black guys play sports. Again, you might give a guy a pass on that as just a sort of awkward thing, guys who ask tall, muscular, black guys if they played sports, doesn't mean they're a racist. It doesn't. That's a, that's a connection. Right, JR? You could, it's just, it's awkward. It doesn't mean you're an instant racist. Right. It's, it's what I was wondering at first, because we know his past, or at least his previous views. And we're like, I was like, well, you know, maybe he assumes that, you know, he went to the school. He's like, oh, maybe it's a good sports school. Did you play ball there? Right. Yeah, sure. I, I mean, look, it's not like I, I'm, I'm on a plane. I see a six foot six black guy in good shape get on the plane. It doesn't not occur to me. Hey, is that an athlete? I'm not, I'm not, I, I got it. We're all, we're human. We make mistakes. Um, so he asked him what position he plays. Sports band are a good way to connect. This is a guy who, when he, in his uh, high school yearbook photo, he was wearing a Confederate flag pin. Okay, once again, he's not a good old boy who grew up in Virginia, which means he might've grown up around that culture, which you might give him a pass on because he might then grow out of it. I wouldn't give him a pass, but he might grow out of it. He grew up in Southern California. He grew up in Palos Verdes. He's wearing a Confederate flag. Okay, forget it, no problem. He goes to the Virginia legislature, 1984. One of 27 Virginia House members to vote against the Martin Luther King holiday. Okay, his point being, we shouldn't honor a non-Virginian. Okay, well, Martin Luther King isn't a Virginian and we're gonna honor him with a holiday. He said the state shouldn't honor a non-Virginian. It falls on the same day set aside to honor Stonewall Jackson and Robert E. Lee. 
they, of course, fought for the Confederacy. He co-sponsored a resolution expre expe expressing regret and sorrow. That's a quote upon the loss of William Mumford Tuck. That was a politician in Virginia who opposed every piece of civil rights legislation in the 50s and 60s and vowed, quote, massive resistance to Brown versus Board of Education. Um, uh, and then, of course, there were a couple of quotes that I just couldn't love more. JR, do we have those quotes up for you? Uh, this was uh, back during the race for the Senate in 19, uh, excuse me, in 2006, running against Jim Webb. Uh, at this time, of course, George Allen, a sitting senator and the former governor, one-term governor of Virginia. Every governor in Virginia, one-term governor. You only have your term limited to just one term. So uh, first, of course, were the allegations from former teammates of his when he played football at the University of Virginia in the early 70s. This guy is a doctor who played football with him. This guy's a tight end, now a doctor, I believe, in North Carolina, and here's what he had to say. So the doctor says that Allen said he came to Virginia because he wanted to play football in a place where, quote, blacks knew their place. And he says Allen used the N-word on a regular basis back then. That's Ken Shelton, again, a former teammate of George Allen. This guy was a UVA tight end. I believe Allen was the quarterback. Again, he used the N-word on a regular basis. Seventeen teammates of Allen said that Allen was in some way or another a racist when he was at Virginia from 71 to 74. It wouldn't excuse it, by the way, but Allen didn't grow up in Virginia. Uh, and then, of course, there was this great line when he was in the debate uh, against Jim Webb in 2006. It turned out that Allen's parent, uh, grandparents uh, were Jewish. Uh, he didn't find out about it until shortly before the debate. And then there was this line from the debate when questioned by a reporter about that Jewish heritage, which he had apparently just learned earlier but hadn't released to the press, but it was coming out, that story. And he talked about the uh, sort of American values in the First Amendment, and he says, one of those values in this country is freedom of religion and not making aspersions about people, those aspersions being that he was Jewish. Well, being Jewish is not an aspersion. It was a question. It was an odd question, I'll admit, in the way it was phrased, but being Jewish, not an aspersion. Hard to argue that George Allen, not a racist. So that little comment that he made about the reporter two times in five months being an athlete, an opportunity to point out George Allen's a racist, has no business in the United States Senate. And now we have a new sponsor, Thrillist. Uh, They're very cool because they hook you up with uh, really interesting things going on in your town or any town you might be in that you don't know about. Right. They also let you know where the best restaurants, bars, venues are. Thrillist.com slash TYT.